What is reality? And how did this all come to be? Was there a first cause? Did it all just suddenly happen? Well, if it did, what was before that? What caused the first cause? You'd blow your mind trying to figure this stuff out. But what if time is just an illusion? What if everything that ever happened or ever will is already happening right now? Now, help me wrap your mind around that. Let's look at the number line. One leads to two. Two leads to three. Three leads to four. One comes before two. Two comes before three. And not, and not only that, but you got the negative aspect. Negative one. Negative two. Negative three. Negative one from the negative aspect come leads to negative two, which leads to negative three. Yet negative two on the linear scale comes before negative one, and you got zero. It goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Does one really come for two? If you if I show you a piece of paper with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, negative 1, negative, negative 2, negative 3, negative 3, 1 comes for 2, but here you see them on a piece of paper. They're all here at the same time. 1, 2, 3, 0, for however, however long the paper is. All the numbers are here at the same time. And can you forget, figure it out yet? What if everything that ever exists, multiverses, alternate realities, this reality, everything, began with a big bang? I'm not talking about the big bang as you know it. Bing that bang that created this universe. I'm talking about the super big bang that happened at point zero. And it goes in both directions, backwards and forwards. Forever and ever. And ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever. But since time is an illusion, guess what? There is a progression. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Or if you're going four, negative negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one. But also, not only that, but one leads to one point one, which in turn leads to one point one one, which leads to one point one one one. And you got an infinite number of calls and effects. But since infinity neither has a beginning nor an end, its reality is continually expanding, both backwards and forwards. But because everything is happening at the same time, before the explosion reaches the number, let's say the number one million, already ten, already the relationship between each number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, already the relationship it has to the number one million for the explosion has gotten to point one million. It already exists. Are you getting this with me? Are you? Is is this making sense? Everything that ever happens, it ever will happen, is happening this moment. In the same way, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, me all the way to whatever number already exists. It just hasn't been realized yet. There's a progression, but the progression of time is an illusion. I forgot what I was going to say. Here's another thing to think about. Everything you can use numbers. This is how I believe people can predict the futures. You can assign numbers to everything. And if you get an, assign enough numbers to enough variables, you can predict the future. Those math savants, you can tell, ask them what's 365 times 1,115. They can tell you the answer right there. The way they do it is they use patterns, letters, numbers. And in this way, you can predict the future. If you make uh, a prediction that's not that's only 90% accurate, it's because you only had 90% of the variables. You only were aware of 90% of the variables. You didn't go far back enough. Like the number pi, 3.14, it goes on and on and on. You didn't have enough, you didn't go enough digits past the decimal point of the number pi. So this is reality. It began at point zero, and it goes back, backwards. And and here's another thing. They say if you the, the smaller the particles you get, the small the farther back you go, particles get so small that the smaller they get, they get so small that they begin that that the laws of physics begin to break down. What if going backwards in time, you can go back so far, the further back you go, you go far, back far, the farther and farther and farther back, eventually the, the, what you call it, the principles of reality, the laws of physics and reality begin to break down the further back in time you go. To point zero, which from the negative aspect, because infinity. This is just something to think about. I feel as if I feel as if I had not made myself clear enough. This is an interest, interesting shit. Next thing I'm going to talk about here, morality. Is there objective good and objective bad if there is no God? The answer, in a nutshell, yes. Next video. And it would be objectively good if I was a good looking guy. <laughs> Not just for me, but for all the girls who think I look good because that would make them feel good. Do you get the picture?